The movie takes place in the year 2022, during which the international prison system is operated by private corporations and prisons have become big businesses. A band of soldiers marches on in a flashback scene. Suddenly, one of the soldiers, John Robbins, kills his commanding officer for previously being ordered to kill innocent civilians in Benghazi. Next, John Robbins has been imprisoned for life because of his criminal act. Robbins has already escaped from two maximum security prisons of level 5 and is being transferred to Leviticus, a futuristic level 6 prison. He arrives at the prison via a streamlined monorail, which towers over the surrounding desert sands like a futuristic city. When the prisoners arrive at the prison, the warden informs them that they have no chance of escaping and that death is the only way out. Soon after, the warden summons prisoner number 2675, John Robbins. He learns that Robbins was convicted of murdering his commanding officer and had escaped from a level 5 prison. The warden then informs Robbins that future contacts, visitors, phone calls, and letters are prohibited, which enrages him. In the following scene, Robbins is thrown into a cell, where he meets another prisoner who gives him some food to eat. He also tells him about Absalom, a jungle island where the worst prisoners are sent and which is the most feared prison in the world. Later that night, Robbins awakens to discover that his prisoner partner has vanished. Soon after, he is led to the torture chamber, where he sees his prisoner partner tied up in front of a large crowd of other prisoners. The warden orders Robbins to electrocute his prison partner as punishment for sneaking food into the prison. Robbins, on the other hand, refuses and drops the electrical zapper. In order to persuade Robbins, the warden points his gun at his partner and threatens to shoot him if Robbins does not pick up the zapper within five seconds. But one thing leads to another, and Robbins seizes the warden's gun and holds him at gunpoint. But Robbins immediately releases him, and the guards severely beat him. Warden is now convinced that he is a threat and decides to exile him to the jungle island of Absalom. In the following scene, we see Robbins being flown to the Absalom island in a helicopter. When the Warden arrives on the island, he orders Robbins to be thrown into Sector 4 of the Absalom, which is controlled by a group of prisoners known as the Outsiders. After being thrown from the helicopter, Robbins becomes aware of some strange noises approaching him. He then immediately starts running towards the jungle to hide from whatever danger lies in front of him. However, Robbins is quickly apprehended by the barbaric outsiders, led by a sociopath named Walter Merrick, whose sole rule is the law of the jungle. Robbins is restrained and led inside the outsider's camp, which resembles an abandoned island resort complete with dilapidated houses and a swimming pool. The outsiders take Robbins' clothes and belongings, but Walter Merrick orders them to return them. After a while, Robbins is led to a pit, where Merrick forces him to fight one of his men for entertainment. Robbins, on the other hand, kills that man in seconds with little effort. Merrick is impressed by Robbins' abilities after discovering them. He offers him a high-ranking position in his gang, but Robbins knocks Merrick into the pool, steals his rocket launcher, and flees the outsider's camp. In the following scene, we see Merrick and his gang searching the jungle for Robbins. They soon track him down and corner him at the cliff's edge. Robbins is shot in the neck with a blowgun dart by one of the gang members, causing him to fall into the river below. The Insiders, a group of prisoners on the island led by a terminally ill doctor and a wise dictator named Father, then retrieve Robbins from the river. Meanwhile, the Warden learns that Robbins has been kidnapped by the Insiders' gang. After some time, Robbins awakens and goes outside to inspect the Insiders' camp. He is surprised to see more of civilization's amenities, such as blacksmith shops, communal showers, and a small distillery. The Insiders make their own clothing on small looms and appear to be considering taking up pottery. In addition, the Insider Gang established a cooperative autonomous community with laws in opposition to the Outsider's tyranny. Soon after, Robbins encounters Father, who informs him about the Insider's camp and its gang. Father introduces him to Hawkins, the chief of security for the Insider Gang. Robbins also tells the Father about his escape from the Outsiders, which impresses him. Soon after, Robbins discovers that the Insiders are vastly outnumbered by the Outsiders and that he is the sole survivor of Marek's Outsider's camp. Father informs him that the rocket launcher weapon he stole from Merrick has been appropriated for the benefit of the community. After noticing Robin's abilities, Father invites him to join the Insiders, but Robbins declines, stating that he wants to leave the island. Next, Father instructs Hawkins to transport him to Dysart, the Insider gang's sole engineer. Dysart is seen inspecting the rocket launcher stolen from Merrick by Robbins. Dysart and Hawkins then accompany Robbins to one of the camp's posts and explain that they are 200 miles from the mainland. They also reveal that gunships patrol 50 miles off the coast, and infrared satellite technology monitors thermal activity, such as large fires or explosions. They also inform him that escaping this island undetected is impossible. In the following scene, Robbins meets Tom King, the newcomer helper, who teaches him about hygiene and such. Later that evening, we see Robbins walking somewhere, but he quickly notices that someone is following him. It turns out to be Casey, a naive young man sentenced to life in prison for a kidnapping that resulted in a double felony murder by accident when the hostages died. 
Casey is impressed by Robin's escape from Marek and wishes to be his friend, but Robin's refuses and tells him to stop following him. Hawkins notices Robin's leaving the insider's camp after a while. Robin's is then seen sitting on a cliff near the sea. When he looks out at the sea, he sees an animated graphic of a small, gray, slug-like escape pod chugging along until it is blown up. Casey arrives there after following Robin's for a while. Robin's eventually befriends Casey after listening to him talk about his past and the island for a while. Casey then introduces Robin's to X. X offers him the merchandise in exchange for his boots, but Robin's declines and instead inquires about his boat. Later that night, Robin's notices something strange about the insider gang. He follows them to the jungle. Unfortunately, he was apprehended by Hawkins and returned to the camp. The following morning, we see Robin's and Casey eating breakfast. He discovers more about Casey. They notice a supply helicopter in the air. Casey informs Robbins that the supply drop is only for outsiders and that insiders will not receive any. After a while, we see Casey introduce Robbins to Killian, another insider gang member. Killian offers him his homemade beverage. They all rush towards the gate after hearing a bell in the insider's camp. The king is seen exiling one of their gang members for failing to perform his duties properly. After witnessing this, Robbins appears to be contradicting the king's rule of the insiders. The Outsiders gang is arguing with their leader Merrick about the food drop they received earlier in the scene. As a result, Merrick murders a gang member. The Insiders are seen celebrating Christmas later that night. Marek's men eventually launch a surprise attack on the Insider camp. They use flaming arrows to set most of the place on fire, but there is strangely little fire damage the next day, and both gangs engage in bloody hand-to-hand -hand combat. The father flees and hides in his room, but Merrick notices him and captures him. Robin saves Merrick just as he is about to kill the father, Merrick then flees the scene with his gang members. The father informs Robbins that this type of attack occurs four or five times a year. Later, Killian is seen conversing with Robbins. He informs Robbins that the warden desires insiders and outsiders to fight and die fighting. Robbins wakes up the next morning and runs for the cliff near the sea. He discovers the father, Hawkins, and Dysart watching the boat leave the island. Soon after, Robbins discovers that the insiders have secretly built and launched a scam-proof boat to inform the outside world about Absalom. However, the boat is detected and destroyed by attack helicopters, leading Father to believe that one of them is an informant. In the following scene, we see Robbins arrive at Dysart's house. Robbins, still determined to flee, discovers a new boat and demands a seat. When Robbins discovers that the engine requires a distributor, a part he saw while visiting Marek's camp, he offers to retrieve it in exchange for passage for himself and his friend Casey. The insiders concur. When Casey discovers that Robbins is going to Marek's camp, he tries to persuade Robbins to let him accompany him, but Robbins refuses. In the following scene, we see Robbins approaching the outsiders. Despite Robbins' denial, Casey pursues him but is quickly apprehended. Meanwhile, Robbins infiltrates the outsiders' camp and obtains the engine component. Then he causes a distraction in the outsiders' camp and rescues Casey, who is being held hostage by the outsiders. When Robbins and Casey attempt to flee, they are apprehended by the outsiders' gang leader, Merrick. Merrick throws Robbins into the pool and forces him to fight Casey to the death. Casey kills himself by impaling himself on Robbins' weapon, knowing they can't both escape. After some time, we see that Robbins is about to be executed by Merrick. Fortunately, Robbins avoids execution with the help of an insider spy, which irritates Merrick. In the following scene, Robbins hands over the distributor to Dysart. We see Father is very ill here at Father's house. Robbins informs him and the other members of the insider gang about Marek's attack. Soon after, the Insiders gang devises a strategy to protect Merrick. Robbins convinces the Insiders to abandon their camp despite the fact that they are outnumbered, but not before it is strewn with booby traps. Later that night, Hawkins tells Robbins about how he spent 13 years building that place and cannot just abandon it. Robbins informs Hawkins that he will remain behind to use the stolen rocket launcher to detonate an incendiary bomb. The next morning, we see that everyone in the Insiders camp has left. Robbins goes to see the father when he learns he is dying. The father then asks him to take his place when he dies, but he refuses and says he intends to flee the island. In the following scene, Robbins tells father about his past and the reasons he must flee the island. The next morning, Merrick and his outsiders gang arrived at the insiders camp. As they enter the insiders camp, Merrick discovers that no one is present. However, we see Robbins waiting for them with a rocket launcher. Soon after, Merrick approaches Robbins with the intent of killing him, but Robbins launches a rocket, killing most of the outsiders except their leader, Merrick. Back at the prison, the warden suspects that there has been some unusual activity on the island. He then orders his men to prepare a helicopter to fly to the island as soon as possible. The remaining members of the outsiders are running away from the insiders' camp. Merrick, unfortunately, is still alive and well inside the insiders' camp. In the following scene, Father pays a visit to Robbins, and suddenly Merrick arrives and attempts to murder him. As a result of one thing leading to another, the father dies while defending Robbins from Merrick. After a brief battle with Robbins, he finally defeats Merrick. 
He discovers the new boat incinerated and evidence that the king has murdered Dysart moments later. Meanwhile, the warden can be seen on his way to the island. Finally, Robbins discovers that the king is a traitor. He forces the king to give the warden new coordinates for landing his helicopter on the island. When the helicopter lands, Robbins and his men take over, killing all of the guards and throwing the warden out. The king and warden are left behind as unseen outsiders close in on them. In the film's final scene, Robbins is seen escaping the island in the helicopter.